The Dyatlov Pass incident is a half-century-old mystery that has fascinated and baffled everyone. In 1959, a group of nine experienced hikers went on a ski trip to the Ural Mountains and never returned. A search party found the group dead from various causes. Hypothermia, internal bleeding, head trauma and chest trauma. The group's camp was heavily damaged. Instead of finding the group inside their tent, it was partially disassembled and opened from the inside. Group members were found scattered, wearing only socks or undressed in the snow. Some members of the group could not be found for months because they were buried under 13 meters of snow. A nearby group of hikers reported seeing orange orbs in the sky the night the group died. The best theory is that their deaths were caused by an avalanche. Decades later, in 1993, a group of seven Russian hikers led by master hiker and survival expert Lyudmila Korovina went on an expedition to the Kamar Daban mountain range. Like the Dyatlov group, unforeseen bad weather forced the group to camp in an exposed area. The next morning, the group built a fire and had breakfast and set out with plans to meet up with group leader Korovina's daughter, Natalia, who was leading another group of hikers in the area. But they never showed up. Korovina's group consisted of these people, Lyudmila Korovina, 41 leader, Alexander, Sacha, Krisin, 23, Tatyana Filipenko, 24, Denis Shvachkin, 19, Valentina Valia Utuchenko, 17, Victoria Zalesova, 16, Timur Bapanov, 15. Six days later, a group of skiers saw a girl covered in blood. It was Valentina Utuchenko who was part of Korovina's marching group. She was so traumatized that it took years for her to tell the police what happened. Just minutes after the group set off that day, Alexander, Sacha, Kreisin, the hiker at the back of the line, began screaming. His eyes and ears began to bleed. Sacha caught this situation at the beginning of the trail and died there. Korovina, who was closest to Sacha and considered him like a son, stayed with him and told the group to continue. But soon Korovina exhibited the same terrible symptoms and died. Tatiana Filipenko was the first hiker to run back and understand why Korovina started screaming. Tatiana then began showing symptoms and the group heard in horror. She slowly crawled onto a nearby rock and hit her head against the wall. There was pandemonium for the four surviving members. Victoria and Timur began to breathe hard. Dennis hid and Valia froze in place. Valia witnessed three other hikers die in the same mysterious way, clutching their throats and writhing. She ran as far as she could that day and slept in the tent she was carrying. The next day, Valia forced herself back to the field so she could gather more supplies to survive long enough to get to safety. Four days later, he met the canoe group and was rescued. Autopsies showed that members of the group died of hypothermia, except for group leader Lyudmila Korovina, who died of a heart attack. The pathologist also noted that each of the hikers had bruised lungs and protein deficiencies. Theories about what happened range from aliens to Russian military experiments. The way Valia describes the group members dying is similar to what would happen if someone was exposed to a chemical weapon such as a nerve agent. It is also possible that Valia's eyewitness account of what happened is inaccurate, as trauma affects the ability to understand and remember what is happening around you. Another theory is that the group drank water containing toxic waste or accidentally ate poisonous mushrooms.